Hello, my name is Fernando. This is my tech review channel, and today we're gonna to be checking out a CPU cooler install. And the cooler we'll be installing today is the Scythe Mugen 5 Revision B. The Revision B means that it's AM4 compatible. Now these videos take a while for me to make, so if you're not subscribed and you do enjoy the video and it's helpful to you, please take the moment and either hit the like button, put a comment down below with any questions you may have, and if you really enjoy the channel, please hit that subscribe button. The main purpose of this video is to bring the CPU temperatures down because they were getting pretty toasty and we need to keep them nice and cool. Now this video may run a little long and the reason for that is because I wanted to keep the raw footage as personally I find it easier to follow along if you see each step in its entirety instead of me assuming you know how to do something and me just skipping it entirely to go into the next step. However, with that in mind, I will be putting timestamps in the description down below to help you find what you might be looking for specifically, and hopefully you enjoy the video. All right, so I have opened up the power and sleep settings, so you can take a look what my power plan is in order to keep this consistent through the tests. So right now I'm using the balanced one from Windows. I've decided not to use Ryzen Balance or high performance because of some articles I read, but I'll do some further testing with those at some later time. So this one is balanced with these thermals. So we're gonna monitor these while we run Cinebench R20. So this is not to be mistaken with R15, and this is on the stock cooler. After that, we're gonna go ahead and switch out the cooler with the new Mugen uh, Scythe cooler I have. So we're gonna run this one. And the reason I'm, I'm filming it on my phone instead of a screen capture software is I don't wanna put any extra strain on the CPU and I wanna keep this as minimal as possible. So the only things I have open right now are Ryzen Master and Cinebench. So obviously it's running through its thing. Um, CPU temperatures are at 82 degrees, climbing At this point, I've seen him kind of max at around 87, which to me is a little too high. So that's why we're going to be switching out the stock cooler for a better one. Okay, so temperatures seem to have stopped right around 87 degrees. And we're going to finish with a score of 4,441 points. All right, which is just a little higher than I've finished in the past, but... It's right around that range. Okay, now we're gonna switch it out, which is the Scythe Mugen 5 Revision B. Revision B, I'm pretty sure just means it's compatible with AM4. And then we have isopropyl alcohol and coffee filters, because this won't leave any residue on the CPU once we remove the stock fan. So let's just go through with what we have in here. Magnetic screwdriver here. Um, Here's what you don't want to forget is that we need to actually remove this plastic because we're going to get to that point later and then we'll attach this. And then here's the thermal paste provided, but I decided to go out and get my own, which is why I have the NTH1 from Noctua, um, just because I'm more familiar with this brand and I prefer to use that. So now we're just going to go ahead and remove this and then get started. All right, so here I've removed the CPU cooler, the stock one, the Wraith Prism, and you'll be able to see here the residue that's left. So we're gonna go ahead and use the isopropyl alcohol and the coffee filter to remove that right now. This hole right here, not the far one, this one, if you're using an AM4 set, okay? AM4 only, you're gonna wanna use the hole closest to this line. All right, so the next step I wasn't able to show since I'm updating and not it's not a fresh install, I had it flipped on over to the back so the back plate accidentally fell out. However, I put it back in and I had a second person come in and hold down the back plate while I attached these um, pieces that come with the, um, the fan and then the screws as well. So you attach the... Hello, future Fernando here. I made a little bit of a mistake. You're actually supposed to attach the bracket between the black stand and the screw. So I'm going to be showing that right now. All right, so I made a, middle, a little bit of a mistake on the last part of what I was showing you. You actually want to attach these brackets with that black part um, that you saw in the previous build. But yeah, so you're just going to want to make sure the brackets are attached and then you can start applying thermal paste and applying the CPU cooler. All right, so we just attached the thermal paste, which is the Noctua one that I showed previously. And now we're going to be attaching the actual fan or heat sink to it right now. Now what you want to keep in mind is you want to keep 
the part with the notch away from the actual ram. So we're gonna be putting that over here. And one quick thing to remember is that we actually wanna remove the plastic covering here. So we're gonna remove this here. Because a lot of people I've seen in lots of tutorials where they forget to actually remove this part. But we're gonna put it in here. We're gonna line it up. And just a tiny wiggle to make sure the um, thermal paste spreads. And then we're gonna tighten this in here, but not all the way, just until we get a little resistance. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side, which is just through here. It's a little tricky, so you want to make sure you have some sort of visual so you can make sure that it's actually screwing in because you're going to be screwing through the hole there. Okay, so it's going to also come with these fan clips that you're going to want to attach through the hole right here as such. Um, it's going to give you little indications there, but you want to attach them through the hole here. This is just the airflow, but so you want to attach the clips through the air, the, through the holes there. And then what I would recommend doing is kind of just bending a little bit in the way I have it so that the clips are snug and secured right there. You do it on both sides. And now we're going to attach it over there and then into the CPU fan header. So I'm going to remove this fan clip underneath. So I have a little room to plug it in over there. So I'm just gonna put that to the side for right now. Line it up with the little indentations I have here. And I have a GPU little clearance problem. So I'm gonna try to work my way around that. Clearance, as you can see, is very tight. So I had to focus, but I just pulled it in a little bit and was able to clip it through this little indentation you see here. So that little indentation here in the fan is where you're going to actually want to pull this up and over. And I'll show you on the other side here. So if you want to hold it over here, please. I'm going to move this out of the way. And you have this clip. And you actually want to pull it. And I'm going to pull it with this finger here. And you're going to actually want to pull it. And kind of just push it over. I almost clipped my finger there. But as you can see... If you just pull it on and over, it's actually gonna fit its way through the fan and into the actual indentation there. So now that the fan is nice and secured and we have everything's tightened down, then we can just check with the screwdriver one more time. Right in here. Yep, everything's fastened. We're gonna go ahead and take this clip here and we're gonna want to, it depends on your motherboard setup, but it should mostly be the same. You're gonna wanna take this little indentation and you're gonna see in the motherboard right there is where we actually plug it in. So, and I apologize, I had to concentrate. I have really big fingers and these are really tiny parts we're working with here and pins that I do not want to bend. But as you can see, I have secured the fan right there. I don't want to be blocking my RGB cover, so I'm going to go ahead and tuck the fan cable right in here, making sure not to actually block any of the pieces. And that should be fine. You'll still be able to see the RGB colors and the fan cable should be nice and tucked away. And everything is nice and secured, so I'm going to go ahead and power this up and run the final thermals. All right, so good sign is that we got the fan spinning here. Our RGB lights are still on. Everything seems to be working the same way. And so now we're gonna check the thermals on the computer. We have balanced plan set up again. So we're on balance. We're gonna close out of this. We have our thermals up here, which are already doing a lot better. So let's just open up Cinebench and let's run it one more time. Remember our Cinebench R20, their new thermals. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Okay. Now we're gonna watch the thermals climb as this is gonna go through its process. Already you see that we're no longer in the 
mid 80s, high 80s. We're at a constant right now, 59 degrees Celsius, which is, in, in all honesty, it's, it's beautiful. Or we expect this to climb as this continues. And as you know, Ryzen processors are directly correlated to their temperature. So the cooper, you, the, cooper <laughs> the cooler you can keep them, the more efficient they'll run. So right now we're at 60 degrees. This is still rendering and we're gonna see what score we finish up here with. All right. And I know there's a lot of different videos out there that will show you more in-depth analysis, but I'm new to this whole PC building thing and I wanted to show you just a very simple correlation between the simple fan and the rendering. So now our new score is 4,624, which if you remember is a around a 200 jump 200 point jump from what we had last time so yes it's running fantastic it's very quiet it's a lot bigger than the uh wraith prison that we have here but it is i, I like the way it looks you know it shines the light off the silver it kind of bounces off and has the scythe logo right there so great job from japan's manufacturer scythe and that'll be concluding this video so remember get your temperatures down now you may be wondering why I have a green screen back here and that's because I've been working on my Twitch channel and bringing in new and exciting features. So if you do get the chance, please go ahead and check out my Twitch as well. I'm using the hacks the right way. Call me fucking pro. Doesn't know how Wait, fast I'm your I boy. am. Hey, oh, my yeah. boy. Wait, if he brings you back, he's your nice. for his boy. Yeah, bro. You had me at King Fast Hands. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> On another note, I will be opening up a brand new YouTube channel where I'll be going over different Twitch tips as different animations, such as creating an instant replay, um, tips and tricks on how to grow your channel and things of that nature. So I'm gonna be both controlling my tech review channel, which is this one, where we'll be going over a stream deck and my streaming channel where we'll be going over how to use the stream deck. And my goal here is to help you find the best tech for your needs. So if you like Heat's tech, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and please leave me a comment down below because I am still pretty new so I'm able to answer all of your comments right away. With that said, thank you guys and have a great day. Hello, look at me. Now, look at you. Now look at you looking at me. If you enjoyed that, you're definitely gonna enjoy my channel. My name is Fernando, but I go by Heat. I live in the desert, I study mechanical engineering, and this channel is my way to grow and connect with you. I started with a PlayStation camera. Where you're actually catching the last stream without the overlay. And with the new support I was able to find on my channel, we were able to build a PC together, start our own Discord family, and better get connected with one another. Now come check out our highlights. This is my problem, Chief. <laughs> Stop camping. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Immortal, get out of there! <laughs> now if you enjoyed that, come be a part of our cacti family. We are all welcoming, very kind, and we want you to be a part of us.